You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. About the peels. Yeah. What is a peel? Hmm. You know, all the shit I know because I've heard dated it. people from media who have gone to a dermatologist. Otherwise, I'm an engineering grad. The yeah. first time I heard peel, I was like, why would you do that to your face? Uh, why do you peel it off? Uh-huh. Yeah. Now I understand yeah. a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. With slightly incomplete understanding, yeah. which we're going to correct today. Yeah. So what's the peel? <laughs> <laughs> so like you said, it is a peel only. But uh, what are you trying to peel is important. So it could be, uh, depending on the depth that it peels your skin off, it is very superficial, superficial, medium depth, and deep peels. When you say very superficial, it literally takes away the top dead layer of your skin. So you put the peel, you remove it, you just look that bit brighter. So that's the, just, that's what it's doing. A little deeper when it goes, it becomes a, let's say, superficial peel. Where it may lead to a little redness or a little irritation for a very short time. A medium depth peel may actually cause a little bit of rough and slowing skin, but not really slowing away. Now, deeper peels literally shrink and take away a portion of your skin. So there depending on the depth of the peel, like a very superficial, you do it, 20 minutes, you're out of the clinic looking glowing, happy, go, life is gone. Second level of the peel, when you go a little deeper, the doctor will tell you, oh, be a little careful, don't go out in the sun, don't do scrubs, don't do rubs, don't jump in the pool where there's a lot of chlorine, nothing to irritate your skin. For a week, you take care of yourself. By then, the skin kind of recovers. Medium depth peel, you will say, oh my God, 10 days, strictly sun avoidance, da 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 now the deep peel, you're literally bandaged for the first seven days. Huh? And then you have to stay in. And so you will never see an Indian do it because that is not for brown skin. That mm. is only for white Western skin. We don't even do. I have never done one in my 22 years of practice. I don't know how to do it. One of my colleagues who I, I really love her, I've looked up to her when I was a younger dermatist, Dr. Marina Landau. I was just talking to her this morning. She does these aggressive peels. Ripping away her eyes and all it's just gone. But then Beautiful it becomes. But that's only possible for a white skin. Why? That's we PIH. We pigment badly. You can even scar badly if it is done badly. That's a different question. Brown skin. Yeah. Brown skin pigments badly. Very badly. Because we PIH very well. There's this content of melanin in us which can just go left or right depending on its mood. So it can either become fully dark or it can completely lose pigmentation and become white. Okay. Like the so, desi bias in me always assume that brown skin is healthier, better than... 100%. 100% healthier and better. In fact, uh, just now, there is a study from Northwestern University which says they have devised a synthetic melanin wherein they are applying, imagine, applying melanin on the skin. We to hate our melanin in the skin. They are applying melanin on the skin and they have realized it not only protects the skin from sun, it also is wonderful at skin repair. So they have seen it on a wound where the scabs fell off much sooner, skin healed much sooner, closed in much sooner. So they are in fact now thinking of using it on burns patients to help kind of get the skin back quickly. So melanin is a beautiful thing, which is our brown skin. That is why we don't burn like the West. That is why we don't age like the West. That is why we heal so much better. It is all because thanks to our melanin. Okay. Uh, you were saying about deep peel. Peel. So peel not happening. Okay. What we do in an Indian scenario is just superficial peel, very rarely medium depth. That also none of us do it. We do it like a concentrated one, like a TCA cross for acne scars. That's the deep peel, that you, medium depth peel that you end up doing. Literally in a toothpick, we put one one dot on the scar only and that to a shorter period of time and tuck it's over. Medically, what's very. happening? There. Then it'll just peel off a little. Uh, then the scar kind of closes in a little better. A scar is basically your skin having different contours. Correct. Like now Texture. Texture. Mm. Uh, it's khaddas. Like Khadda. it's, it's basically exactly. like Holds. a gap in your skin. So when you're putting the peel, I'm assuming it flattens it out by removing that the Khadda. cliff. The, the peak. Yeah. The the, 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 the the ice peak. Like that. So imagine this is your acne scar and I'm taking a uh, taking a toothpick, dipping it into the bottle of my peel. <gasps> That's literally candle. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 dipping it into the thing and then dipping it back into this. Mm. So this entire cone, I am peeling off and the raw skin will punch Oh, 
okay 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 understood okay. got it but that is only that situation in general lightly what everybody keeps telling you oh, i did a peel and came back today blah, blah, blah. that is a very superficial peel where it could be vitamin c ferulic kojic azelic um, phytic hajar peels are there so we either use single peels or we combine the peels we depending on if it is acne usually it is salicylic mandelic that we end up using we can even use tca at a very low concentration blah blah, blah everything we end up mixing up and then it's literally like taking paint brush and painting it on your skin taking a q tip and applying depending on each doctor's technique we end up applying it some peels are sequential i'll apply one kind of a peel then i'll put on top on top on top to build up my peel or i'll do segmental peel which means your skin is not equal everywhere right this is oily this is dry this is dry this is pigmented for example and dry and dry most people indians i see this area is pigmented and dry though this is very oily so then i put a different peel different peel different peel that you got the segmental peel then we have a long stay peel certain peels like kojic peels retinol peels your retinol is also in a peel form we apply that and send them off home then they remove it after some 6 7 hours and slowly you will see peeling in the next 6 7 days and skin becomes nice and neat so there is a lot of uh, variations that we do in peel to give a lot of results usually it clears out your complexion clears out kind of a top dead layer so skin looks brighter cleaner acne scars fade out imperfections fade out uneven tones kind of blend in and fade out so various peels we do for various things. so that is a peel it's an office procedure come in go out new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe